Hello everyone, it is Rosencourt here and welcome to another speed build by yours truly. So today we are building a modern house. I titled this one Cedar Beach, mostly just because like that was like what the lot was named. And also I used like wood paneling and I was like, I had a Cedar Beach, that should be fine. <laughs> so this one has um, three floors, only two of them I use. Um, I just blow out the ceiling on the third floor. It was mostly just to make the, it look nice on the outside versus um, really for the inside. <laughs> so right now I'm just playing around with the deck. I really didn't know what I wanted to do with this front deck and I ended up making it kind of like this roundy like shape just to like um, I guess like juxtaposed against the blocky squareness of um, this build, and I'm, I really like this one. I, I think it really I really played with um, what like elongated and long galley type rooms are like, and um, I think it's pretty great. And I think there's a lot of space. It's really spacious, and um, it's not that bad to play in either. Because I had um, I test played this house, and it all should work. Um, I believe everything works. I think the only thing that just doesn't work properly, which I think is more a Sims thing, is the fact that you can't, like, watch TV while, like, laying in bed. <laughs> which I think is a little frustrating, but, you know, it, that's just the way things work. So right now I'm playing with this dark paneling. At first I wanted that whole side of the house to be the dark paneling and then I was like, okay, this looks really bad. And um, I just left it in because I was like, you can see me play around with, like, I don't know. I think it's interesting to watch. <laughs> and there's not too much cuts in this one, which is nice. This one is actually a pretty speedy build. I think it took me about, um, uh, maybe, like, I don't know. I think it took me about, like, an hour on the outside, and then, well, actually, oh, sorry, excuse me. I don't think it took me an hour on the outside. I don't know. I think this was about two hours altogether. I think the longest part was actually doing all the interior Mostly because I wasn't really sure how to divide the space up a lot. It was sort of, I liked the idea of how it looked like on the outside. But then when I went inside, I'm like, oh. <laughs> I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> um, but I think it turned out really nice. There's actually two living spaces, which, spaces, which is fun. And there's um, a kitchen. There's two bedrooms. One of them is a master bedroom with an ensuite. And then there's... Um, uh, bathroom on the second floor and I think this is a really fun house I think that you could have this as sort of a bachelor pad or you can have this as um, a house with like two roomies like one is on the left side of the house and one is on the right side of the house and um, yeah I think it's a really great fun space not, space. Um, not to mention I play around with colors a lot which um, I had a really a lot of fun doing because at first I really wanted to go with this sort of like brown kind of look this sort of like um, bachelor pad kind of look but when I went inside I was like ah oh, you know what I want to do I want to do a whole bunch of really like bright fun colors contrasted with like all the white and stuff like that and I really used the um, movie stuff, stuff pack to my advantage for this one and yeah, so I actually had a lot of trouble with the doors just because these are like, um, that side of the, the left side of the house is only like, f um, five blocks wide, I think. I think it was like five. I don't know. It was an uneven number. So <laughs> the, um, doors were not centered properly and, um, I really didn't want to expand it or make it, um, sh um, thinner just because then it would be too thin. So um, I end up just leaving it as like a door and then with like a window on the side to balance it out. And I think it doesn't look too bad. I end up switching the mirror and the door like halfway through the build um, just because it didn't work with the interior. But I think all in all, it looks really nice. And yeah, I make that little inner corner dark um, just to give it a little bit more depth. And I think it really actually pushes the house um, forward and backward in a really nice way. And um, I play around with the floor here. This is where I discover the flooring um, doesn't like go nice around corners. <laughs> I wanted it to go straight, but it was only um, going on, um, vertically rather than, um, wait, no, horizontally, not vertically. And um, it was really frustrating. <laughs> but um, I ended up just leaving it because you can't really see it anyways, and I think it looks fine. And yeah, here's the, um, we're doing the back porch, and I add a little tree in the center there just because I think it looks a little, I think it looks a little nice, you know, when you have, like, the windows there, and I, th um, actually, I don't think there is any windows there, now that I think about it. Other than the outside, you can't really see it, um, which is alright, you know, I think it looks cool for the outside rather more so than the inside anyway. 
And yeah, so right now I'm just opening up the space and um, I wanted to uh, put the staircase in the center there just to divide the space up kind of nicely. And then I wanted to open up this area around the staircase. I had a little bit of trouble with it just the way that the Sims 4 rooms kind of work. Um, but I think in the end it looks really really nice and I think it looks really really cool. And yeah, so I'm adding in lights so I can actually see something and so you guys can actually see something. <laughs> and like I said actually in my last build, I'm trying to do a lot of um, top down kind of views so you guys can um, see what I'm building a lot easier just because I spin around a lot so I think it can be a little jarring sometimes so I'm trying to when the, I'm building I'm trying to be a little bit more conscious of the way that I'm building and the way that I am showing what I'm building so yeah there's this um just a cute little backyard I don't think it's really like you don't really need a big backyard with this house. Um, I'm sure you can put it on a bigger lot if you wanted to, but I was like, I don't really feel like doing like major landscaping with this house anyway, so. <laughs> and yeah, here is where I have the problems with like, there's this like two rooms and then I was trying to get like a second room in that area. And um, I get it, I ended up figuring it out. It just took a little bit of thinking <laughs> of how I wanted the space to kind of work out. And um, this is around the time that um, when I start making rooms and stuff like that, that I go, oh, I don't have like, um, like a main bathroom. Um, I don't think I figure it out actually until after I'm done the first floor. And yeah, here we're starting in the kitchen. I just, I usually like to work my way up. I like to start with the kitchens and then I go to the bedrooms and everything. So yeah, I think it's just as the way most people do it <laughs> and I really wanted to use these really loud like blue counters I didn't really want to use the really like brighter blue ones but I think that these ones actually are really nice looking and um, I play around with sort of the layout of the kitchen a little bit um, I didn't want to go too blocky like that but I think in the end it actually just looks fine and um, yeah I moved this stove in front of the windows and I'm putting up um, some cupboards and stuff like that and I really like using these like long um, cupboards I just never know how to use them sometimes and so I end up putting in a pantry which I think looks really um, cool in the end here just because it um, it kind of um, divides the space up a little bit nicer and makes the space a little bit cooler kind of looking and uh, yeah so I, I play around with the way that I want this pantry to look that's pretty much how it looks like in the end but um, I, I was um, I really want to put in a bar because I was trying to think of like what kind of sim and I feel like this would be more of like a party house or something like that like more of a, like a bachelor pad so I thought having a bar would be appropriate but it didn't look good and it was just way too bright and I just didn't like like the way that it was sort of hidden away there so um I end up putting those cupboards back in and then just putting in like a chalkboard and like a little um those um cupboards with like the tea set on it which I think look really cute and yeah so right now I'm just yeah decorating the kitchen a little bit more and yeah <laughs> so um how are you guys doing today are you are you guys doing good are you guys having um I was about to say are you guys having a great summer <laughs> but I'm sure not everyone is um in university like I am and some of you might be having like full-time jobs or you know you're still in school or something like that but um, how are you guys enjoying the warm weather um, I know it's warm here in Canada it's about uh, I think it's gonna be 30 degrees this weekend which is insane I think it's 25 today and I or like 28 or something like that I don't know it's really hot in my room I'm actually kind of dying like I'm like sweating and I'm in shorts and just like a tank top <laughs> but um yeah I hope that you guys are having a great day um yeah and like I've said in kind of my other builds if you guys ever have any like comments or sort of like ideas of what you would like me to build next feel free to comment and share um, I like being able to um, sometimes I don't know if I'm doing like nice things or if I'm not and um, you know I, I like I like pleasing and not to mention I like challenging myself a lot I like doing like different kinds of builds and stuff like that and um, I've actually been drawing up a whole bunch of sketches of ideas of what I'm gonna do next um, 
After I do the voiceover for this one, I'm going to be working on my next build for Friday, which is going to be fun. And um, I already sketched up a larger build that I want to do for next week. Uh, I don't know what day I want to upload that one. It depends on how long it, that one takes me because it's definitely going to be a larger build, a little bit more of a detailed build versus some of my modern houses, which I don't, which I don't go too heavily into detail. But um, yeah. So this is the feature wall in the living room. I really like using these like paneling feature walls and uh, using that paneling to create like a feature wall and stuff like that and having like a really nice fireplace. And um, I think this living room is my favorite part of the entire house. Um, I think the only problem I had with it is trying to find matching furniture and furniture that really like looked nice to kind kind of together. Like I like the furniture when they're paired together. But when you're trying to mix and match furniture, it sometimes can look a little, like, weird. And, um, I'm sure you guys <laughs> have that problem as well, where you, where you want to mix and match furniture, but not all the coloring is right, or things don't really go as nicely as you would like. And it, it bothers me a tiny bit, but, um, like, for example, like, windows, where all the, like, the window frames around the windows aren't all the same colors, that bothers me. Because <laughs> you want to mix and match windows, you don't want to use all the same windows all the time. And uh, a lot of the times I end up having to um, use the ones that go together versus the one mixing and matching, which is a bit of a pain. So right now I'm just throwing in the TV, making this, like, the TV kind of spot and throwing in a little bit of lighting and stuff like that. And, um... Yeah, and I think I just do a little bit more details here, and then I think I move on into the... Oh, wait, no, I actually, I use the, put in a rug first. Um, I really, like, um, with this space, because it was so long, you really need to be able to pull your eye through the room. And so, um, I was trying to find something that would do that, that wasn't too, like, gaudy or loud. And, um, I end up using, I think, like, um one of like that carpet right there and I end up placing it on top of each other and um, I think you can't tell too much that that seam is there but um, I think it looks really nice and then I add in just this little like dining room thing I really want to have a round table but a lot of the round tables aren't that big which is all right <laughs> and um yeah, I think this is a really funky space, and um, I play around and put a, a lot of use a lot of these um, movie stuff pack um, paintings and stuff like that. I really like them. I like how like bright they look, and I like how like fun they are. I wish that you there was options where you could like split them up and use them individually, but I think even then. Even though you can't do that on their own, they look pretty great. And I move the other ones to that room right there. Um, that's going to be the other living space. There's no TV in there, but I figure, you know, it's a nice, like, lounge space. So if you're having, like, friends over, you can have, like, um, sort of a dual living space. And because there's um, also the bed master bedroom upstairs and the... I call the other bedroom the guest bedroom, but you can have it as another Sims bedroom, like household sim Sims bedroom. But, um... Yeah, there's two places where they can hang out and not all together in the same space, but this one does not have um, a TV. It's just sort of a nice um, friend space, a little hangout space. Um, yeah. <laughs> and so here's where I have the same problem of, like, carpeting. I really didn't know what I want to do just because, like, without a carpet it looks weird. And I end up using this really long one here. And I divide the space up with just a little half wall and... Um, I think, uh, like a table? Yeah. I use a half wall and then I use a table. And yeah, um, I didn't really know what to do with that front foyer space. I just ended up putting in, um, some bookcases and just, um, putting in a little bit of, like, a closet in there just to make it look a little bit still open but not messy or busy. And, um, yeah. <laughs> Otherwise, I wasn't really sure what to do with the space. I was kind of, I looked at it and I was like, oh, what am I going to do here? And um, I think it looks fine, you know? You kind of have to have a nice little foyer space. And when you come in, it really, um, it doesn't block your view too much. And you can really look at, like, all the space in the house. And that's why I like those um, floating stairs as well, because you can see right through them. And um, I didn't want to put a powder room or anything underneath the stairs, just because it would... Again, it would really close up the space, and because the, sp the whole walls are so long and stuff like that, and the rooms are so long, you really don't want to make the space any more encroaching than it is. <laughs> but, um, 
Yeah, like I said before, I um, played in this house, so it actually is fine to play in. Um, I have, I didn't have any problems. Um, I didn't, I only played with one sim just to test it and make sure that they can get around all the rooms and stuff like that just fine, and he can, and which was um, nice. And yeah, so right now I am working on the upstairs, and just like I said before, this is where I'm working on the master bath, and I'm working on the layout, and I was going to have the other bathroom on the opposite side side right there you can see me build and um then i was like oh right i don't have a main bathroom <laughs> um i like i hate it when you have like sims over and stuff like that well not sims over but like you have sims come over to your house and then they go through like your bedroom to get to the bathroom and it's the most annoying thing ever i hate it <laughs> so um i like to have like um a blast a bathroom that there should be more likely to go to but um i don't know um because again, like I said, I only play tested with one sim and I directed him to what bathrooms that I wanted him to use. <laughs> and yeah, so this is the master bath and then I put the main floor bathroom right there. And um, yeah, so um, I think the spaces look like the two bedrooms are very, very different from each other. Um, I want to have a little bit of like a lounge kind of um, guest bedroom and then have the master bedroom to be more of like a bachelor pad kind of looking um bedroom just because I have those double doors and then you've got the bathroom right there and um and then I think it I think it looks uh really nice and yeah I, I'm actually considering doing um another like build that's sort of similar to way that this room looks but in like um a house format so um so yeah, be prepared for that. That should be coming soon. <laughs> and yeah, so um I do kind of my bathrooms aren't really that exciting. I think my bathrooms always kind of look the same. And here was where I was having camera issues. I don't know about you guys with like The Sims 4. Sometimes when you're moving around and you want the walls up and you want to look at the other wall and <laughs> and you want to put stuff on the wall but you can't because like the camera just moves in a really funny way. But um yeah, that that kind of bothered me a lot, but at least I got the toilet paper up, so I'm happy about that. And here is the um main bathroom and yeah I use these um, little hedges I think I use them in like all my bathrooms like my modern bathrooms anyways um, just because like they're a nice way to like block the windows uh, just because like I don't like having like windows where you can kind of see floor to ceiling a lot of the time just because I think it I, I always think back into like real life and be like how creepy if it would be if you were in your bathroom and you were like naked or something and some like townie was walking by <laughs> and saw you and I'm like I, I don't like that but um I think the hedges are a nice way to kind of divide it and, and really like brighten up the space too because I really like to do these white bathrooms and um yeah, I, I really want to, um, in my next build, do a lot darker and stop going for um, whites a lot of the time. And then this is where I shift kind of my viewpoint and I do do um, uh, a darker um, bedroom. And I think it looks really nice. And I think it does look give that um, bachelor pad kind of vibe. And um, yeah, I was trying to throw in some closets. I thought they would look nice there, but then I was like, okay, that's kind of weird in front of the balcony. So I put it there and I moved the bed a little bit more to the right. And then I put in a little seating area just because I thought, um, <laughs> I don't know. I was just thinking like, you know, if this sim has like someone over, they can just hang out in the bedroom or something like that. And um, I put in a giant TV like over top of the bed as well and um which is more for looks than anything because like the sims will just stand there and watch tv and um i did notice that when i just kind of left that sim to do as he pleased uh he did go up to that tv before he went to the one downstairs in the living room which is a little bit of an annoyance and he just stood there and watched tv as it like flickered and <laughs> but um it's all right it's fine and then i like this bedroom too because it's more of like a an office kind of um bedroom i think it looks really sleek and nice i think it kind of reminds me of um it reminds me a lot of a, like a hotel and um I think this would be great for like a business sim or something like that like how great would it be if you had like two sims living together in this house and it was like one was like the business sim and she was like kicking ass and stuff like that but then she her roomie is like this like um 
like uh what a like a romance sim or something like that and he just wants to like have parties and be social and she's just like i need to do file my reports <laughs> but um yeah so i throw in a hot tub just because you know i love the hot tubs i want to use them to my advantage all the time and i don't do too much landscaping or anything like that and yeah so Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope that you like this build. And if so, um, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. And I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. See you later.